Number 1. Politicians and leaders who see the media as the enemy within divide society into two clashing cultural camps. Populist demagogues benefit from binary oppositions. Number 2. We need a dose of doubt and a dose of faith, to challenge each other. Number 3. Books change us. Books save us. I know this because it happened to me. Books saved me. So, I do believe through stories we can learn to change, we can learn to empathize and be more connected with the universe and with humanity. Number 4. God is the biggest storyteller, and when we create stories, we connect with him and with each other across cultural, religious and gender boundaries. Number 5. There are two different ways of writing a novel. The first I call the traditional father way, when the novelist slightly situates himself or herself above the text and knows what each and every character is going to do. It's a bit like engineering. I've never felt close to that tradition. I like the second way, which relies a bit more on intuition. Number 6. The lack of trust in supranational entities and cosmopolitan elite creates a fertile ground for tribalist belongings and reactionary politics. Number 7. I write my novels in English first, then they are translated into Turkish by professional translators. Then I take their translation and rewrite. So basically, I write the same novel twice. Number 8. I like to question cultural biases wherever I go, and I question Islamophobia as much as I question anti-Western sentiment because I think all extremist ideologies are very similar. Number 9. My readers are surprisingly mixed. I have conservative readers, for instance, women with headscarves, but also many liberal, leftist, feminist, nihilist, environmentalist, and secularist readers. Next to those are mystics, agnostics, Kurds, Turks, Alevis, Sunnis, gays, housewives, and businesswomen. Number 10. English, for me, is an acquired language. I started with English at the age of 10. At the time, it was my third language. Number 10. English, for me, is an acquired language. I started with English at the age of 10. At the time, it was my third language. Number 12. The only way to learn writing is by writing. Talent, as charming as it sounds, amounts to no more than 12 percenter of the process. Work is 80 percenter. The remaining 8 percenter is luck or zeitgeist, in short, things that are not in our hands. Number 12. The only way to learn writing is by writing. Talent, as charming as it sounds, amounts to no more than 12 percenter of the process. Work is 80 percenter. The remaining 8 percenter is luck or zeitgeist, in short, things that are not in our hands. Number 14. If you are a writer from Turkey, Pakistan, Nigeria, Egypt, you don't have the luxury of being apolitical. You can't say, that's politics. I'm just doing my work. Number 15. When societies go backwards and slide into authoritarianism, nationalism, and tribalism, machismo and sexism are also emboldened.